Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today we will explore the traditional Chinese dishes. Chinese culture includes cuisine originating from the diverse regions of China. Because of the Chinese diaspora and historical power of the country, Chinese cuisine has influenced many other cuisines in Asia, with modifications made to cater to local palates. Because of imperial expansion and trading, ingredients and cooking techniques from other cultures are integrated into Chinese cuisines over time. First on our list. Steamed stuffed bun. Time of origin. Three Kingdoms period. Steamed stuffed bun is a flour dough wrapper with stuffing, which is a kind of Chinese traditional food. It is said that it was created as sacrifices to dead soldiers in battles by Zhu Xiliang, who was an outstanding politician and military strategist in Three Kingdoms period. The stuffing was originally minced beef and mutton. Later, the stuffing became more and more various. The name we use today was settled in Song Dynasty. Up to now, the stuffing can be pork, beef, pickled Chinese cabbage, vermicelli, mushrooms, bin paste eggplant, cabbage, Chinese chives, fried eggs, and tofu and so on. The types are also enriched, including small steamed buns, soup infilled buns, and pan-fried buns. Second, on our list. Wonton. Time of origin, spring and autumn period. Wonton is a traditional Chinese dish made with wheat and flour and meat filling, like the dumplings. But the wrapper is much thinner or can be say transparent and it is eaten together with the soup. According to the legends, wonton might origin from spring and autumn period. At the beginning, wonton and dumplings shared the same name. By Tang Dynasty, these two food had their own names respectively. To Southern Song Dynasty the custom of eating wonton on winter solstice sprang up. Since 1990s, quite a few wonton with new sets of fillings appeared like the filling of lotus root, fresh pork, cured pork, Chinese yam and fresh meat, sweet broad peas and fresh meat, egg yolks and chicken, pork and shrimps, pork and vegetables. Third on our list. Moon cake. Time of origin, late Shang dynasty and early Zhu dynasty. Moon cake is a traditional Chinese food for mid-autumn festival. It is round, which symbolizes family reunion. It is also a sacrificial offering to Moon God on Mid-Autumn Festival. The Qi cake appeared in the late Shang Dynasty and the early Zhu Dynasty, might be the predecessor of Moon Cake. In Tang and Song Dynasties, Moon Cake was a royal food, later, it was brought to folk. Up to Ming Dynasty, eating Moon Cake on Mid-Autumn Festival had become popular. In Qing Dynasty, the making skills was improved and moon cake evolved into many different styles. There are many types of traditional moon cakes, and the most common stuffing includes five nuts, red bean paste, roses, lotus seed paste, osmanthus, dried plum, rock sugar, ginkgo, pork floss, black sesame, ham, egg yolk. Fourth on our list. Dumplings. Time of origin, Eastern Han Dynasty. Dumpling is the most famous traditional Chinese food, which was invented by medical sage Zhang Zongjing, more than 1,800 years ago. At that time, Chinese herbal medicine was stuffed in with mutton to prevent cold and cure panio in winter. In Three Kingdoms, dumplings has been a common food. In Northern and Southern dynasties, dumplings became popular around China, and people filled them in a bowl with the soup to eat them together. Nowadays, dumplings have been a festival food on Chinese New Year and Winter Solstice. The fillings are various including pork, beef, lamb, fish, cabbage, carrots, leek. In the Chinese New Year's Day, people eat dumplings to say goodbye to the old year and welcome a new year. In addition, dumplings have the auspicious meaning of great fortune and family reunion. Fifth on our list. Chinese noodles. Time of origin, more than 4,000 years ago. Noodles is one of the oldest traditional Chinese foods. Chinese people have started to eat noodles about 4,000 years ago. The noodles were small dough sheet first, and later leek-wide noodles. In Jin Dynasty, 
thin noodles like strips appeared. In Tang Dynasty a kind of cold noodles that was cooled in cold water appeared. It was also at the time that Long Noodles was given the wonderful wish of longevity, thus people began to eat the longevity noodles on their birthdays. In Northern Song Dynasty, the name of noodles was fixed and there were not a few kinds of noodles in the earliest commercial streets in the capital city. In Yuan Dynasty, fine dried noodles that could be preserved long was invented. During the long history, the skills of making noodles and its cooking methods had been continuously improved. Now, people in North China take noodles as a staple food, while southern people more often eat it as a snack. Whatever, noodles is a vitally important daily food in China. Its shape, thickness, and length are various, as well as the side ingredients and seasonings. Sixth on our list. Zongzi. Time of origin, spring and autumn period. Zongzi is a Chinese traditional food of Dragon Boat Festival. The glutinous rice is wrapped into reed leaves and then steamed. Zongzi appeared in spring and autumn period, and was used to worship ancestors and gods at that time. Starting from Warring States period, it was used to commemorate the great poet Kuan. To Jin Dynasty, it was fixed as the festival food of Dragon Boat Festival and Chinese medicine, meat, chestnuts and other things were added as fillings except for glutinous rice. In Song Dynasty, preserved fruits were added into fillings of Zongzi. Later, the more and more spices of Zongzi came out. Nowadays, the common fillings of sweet Zongzi are red bean, red date, rose, date paste, bin paste, etc., while those of salty ones are pork, ham, sausages, shrimp. 7th on our list. Rice cake. Time of origin, spring and autumn period. Rice cake, also called New Year cake, is a traditional Chinese food eaten on Chinese New Year, having a propitious wish of a better New Year. It is the cake steamed with glutinous rice flour. There are red, yellow and white rice cakes. And people often make them into auspicious shapes, such as coins, treasures and some lucky animals. It can be fried, boiled, deep fried, boiled with seasoned soup. It is said rice cake was originated from Sazi in spring and autumn period. And in Han Dynasty, there were several names of rice cake. 8 on our list. Spring Rolls. Time of origin, Eastern Jin Dynasty. Spring Rolls is popular all over China, especially in the South. This traditional Chinese food is wheaten crust trapped with fillings, and then deep fried to be golden. The dish is aromatic with crisp thin crust. The fillings can be minced pork, beef, mutton, bin paste or varied vegetables. It is a custom to eat spring rolls on the beginning of spring, one of the 24 solar terms, to welcome spring and make auspicious wishes. Ninth on our list. Chinese Pancake time of origin, more than 5,000 years ago. Pancake is a traditional Chinese staple food especially popular in northern China, which originated from Shandong province. To Jin Dynasty, pancake had specific meanings, on some special festivals, pancake was used to fumigate and as a symbol of repairing sky. In Tang Dynasty, pancake had been popular, as it was listed as a royal dish. In Song Dynasty, Pancake became more welcomed, especially on some festivals, such as Kixi Festival. At late Ming Dynasty, the cooking method of current pancake had formed. Tenth on our list. Glutinous rice balls. Time of origin, Song Dynasty. Glutinous rice balls is a traditional Chinese food as well as the festival food of Lantern Festival and Winter Solstice. It is made of glutinous rice flour with fillings and shaped like balls. Glutinous rice balls originated from Ningbo, Zhejiang province in Song Dynasty. At that time, the filling was black sesame, white sugar and lard. Now, the fillings are various, like black sesame, rose, walnut kernel, date paste, pumpkin, fruits, pork and chicken, etc. It is usually boiled and then eaten with the light soup. Sometimes rice wine and white sugar are added for better flavor. Thank you for watching.
Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.